What's going on today, guys? Just a short little update on the two-wheel drive K5 build. Well, it turns out uh, we do not have a 1978 frame like we were told when it was sold to us. It's actually a 77, so currently the 86 body I have will not fit. Um, body mounts are in different points. They're mounted outwards of the frame rails instead of inward on the cross member like my 77 frame has. So it looks like we're gonna have to end up chopping the floor pan for the passenger seat footwell. Not passenger seat, but the back seat. Uh, I'll have all that recorded, show you that. I do actually have the body sitting on the frame, but none of the body mounts are really, they're all in line, they're just not level. I'd have to have a weird combination of bushings to make it fit. It would have basically a body lift I would never be able to tuck the wheels in the front like I want to. I'll throw a picture up in this video of kind of how we got the body sitting on the frame. Uh, I haven't posted anything once I found out I had the wrong frame. Kind of got a little discouraged, a little frustrated. I was doing some research. Uh, once we decided to pull the body off the four-wheel drive frame and set it on the two-wheel drive frame, I didn't record any of that. But I'll have plenty of footage of it coming on and off as we cut the pan, re-weld the pan back in. Hopefully make it where it'll set level on all the body mounts and they'll bolt right up. So basically on my 77, I had to remove the cross member for the body mounts that are like inside the frame rails which luckily I'd already cut the rivets off, bolted that one in when I was wire wheeling and painting. So that was easy to remove. Uh, I will have to take a couple body mount brackets off of the four wheel drive frame that we need. Uh, that should be pretty easy. Just grind the rivet heads off and then hammer them through. We'll get those cleaned up. And then uh, once we kind of get the body on their setting level, we'll bolt them to the frame or not the frame, but bolt them up like they're supposed to be. And then we'll know if we have to space them out because I think my frame is a little narrower as well. That's why we're running into having to chop the floor pan. But uh, we are going to get it on there. Uh, I've looked at trying to find a 78 frame. I can't find one. I've looked at finding a 77 body, but they're all rusty or they're out of my price range. So we're just going to work with what we have and we're going to make it work. Uh, part of building a truck, you're going to run into setbacks. You just got to get through them. Uh, what else? Uh, I got my buddy Blake Wilson helping me do all this. We're using his two post to pick the body up and off, put it on the frame. He'll also be doing the cutting and welding because he's a little better fabricator in that area. So, uh, I'll have a, another video coming out in the next, hopefully, week or two of all that info. And, but I'll throw some pictures up of the body mounts that I can't use, the ones I need, and a picture of the two-wheel drive frame with the body on it. It's tucking the rear wheels pretty well, but you can see in the picture that it is running uphill towards the front. And that's because like where the footwell for the passenger or the back seat is, is resting on the frame. So it's kind of teetering. It's either I can make the front body mounts bolt up and then the rear's too high or make the rear bolt up and the front's too high. So we're gonna have to chop that floor pan so it actually set on their level and we'll be able to bolt everything up and have a functioning tool drive K5. 86 is just gonna have a little higher floor pan in the rear, kind of like the 73 through 77. But uh, I just wanted to give you all a quick little update on the tool drive K5 build. It's been about a month. I was planning on posting more, but once I learned I had the wrong frame, kind of got a little frustrated. So just figured I'll give you all a quick short update and uh, hopefully we'll be able to have one out in the next couple weeks and we'll catch you on the next one, guys.